now, darling. Isn't this what you were expecting? Leave us alone. Mm -hmm. Papa! Don't worry. I'll have you away from here in a moment. You've got your orders. Let her go. You know, I can't help wondering why Lady Georgiana Grex is to be set free, but none of the others are. It's not your place to wonder. It's not her place to pick a fight with the police at Gildall. It was a demonstration for our right to vote. Or to land up in a cell with a bunch of thieves and tars. One more word, and I'll report you to the Home Secretary. Who is your good friend, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Let her go. But there are davits for 32 lifeboats. Why on earth haven't we used them? Because there's no need. The law stipulates 16 boats, and that is what we have, as well as four collapsibles. Mr. Carlyle wanted to carry boats for everyone on board. I don't care what Carlyle wanted. He isn't working on it anymore. What difference does that make? I will not have the promenade deck ruined or the ladies terrified out of their wits. Ismay! Oh, I'm so sorry. Am I interrupting? Not a bit. Not a bit. Uh, do you know our designer, Thomas Andrews? You must be very proud, Mr. Andrews. Lord Manson is joining us on our maiden voyage. Yes, we can hardly wait. Well, I'll leave you to it until we meet on board, Lord Manson. Yes, may. I got your message. Of course, we would be glad to arrange a cabin for Lady Georgiana. Lady Manson will be so grateful. But I'm afraid it won't be near yours. It's a pity I had no, no time or I might have been able to move things around. Yes, well, we only knew ourselves a day ago, but... Uh... Georgiana's health will suffer if she can't leave England soon. Th there'll be cancellations, surely. I hear J.P. Morgan might not be fit enough to travel. I don't think Lady Manton would care for us to be too separate. Leave it with me. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I hope I'm not being a nuisance. We have one, two... Here comes the trunk. Good. Are you excited? Planning a hunger strike, are you? You can take me around the world three times, you know. It won't make any difference. Then you've got nothing to worry about, have you? Good heavens. What is it? It's John Batley. And who is he? A lawyer at Harcourt and Fennel. I wonder if he's looking for me. Batley? Lord Manton. I, uh, I don't think you know my wife. Mrs. Batley. May I present the Batleys, my dear? And this is my daughter, Lady Georgiana Grex. Are you here on business? I'm taking some papers to New York for Mr. Harcourt. Are you coming to see him off, or are you travelling too? I'm going with him. It's a pity they won't let us go ashore at Queenstown tomorrow. I thought we might all enjoy a taste of Ireland. We're not there much these days. We're based in uh, London now. Well, Croydon, really. Yes, only the lucky Irish live in Ireland. You know, Lady Manton is Irish. Really? Yes, you grew up near Blessington in County Wicklow, didn't you? Will we see you at the service on Sunday? Of course. Well, we shouldn't linger. We don't have first-class tickets, and the guard will think we're stowaways. I tell you what, why not come for tea with us on Sunday afternoon? I don't think that's allowed, my dear. Nonsense. I'll see that it is. Come on, quickly. Don't dawdle. Yes, but wait. Don't dawdle. Teresa! Come on. Oh, 
sorry. Grow? Uh, right to the end and turn left. Uh, and next time, don't use these stairs. Come on. What numbers do the tickets say? I know where I'm going. Oh, yeah, what? Sorry, excuse me. Watch. I missed something, sorry. Yeah, vai di là. Quando sei pronto, presentati il chief steward, hai capito? Non so cosa devo fare. Sandrini! You're late! Sorry, chief. I was trying to get my brother taken on. Chief! There's a fire on the coal bunkers. No surprise there. Dampen it down, keep your eye on it. See what happens when we get the coal down a bit. All right, Sandrini. Get on with it! Oh! What up with your brother? He's a waiter in first class. You earn his money then. Call me Irish. You are Irish. I'm not. Not in that way. You could have been friendlier. Why? And why do we have to go through this ghastly tea? To be polite, Batley works for me. And if he does, I suppose he gets paid for it. What's your cabin like? All right, same as this. Oh, how nice. Captain Smith will be joining our table for dinner. That's the time. I'd better go and change. No, no, don't get changed. No one changes on the first night out. Why not? It's not the done thing. Just tidy yourself up. I still don't see why not. What does it matter? Because I don't believe in the done thing. If I do a thing, I like to know why I'm doing it. You wouldn't last long in the army. He says he loves to see the sights, but he never leaves the throne. Is this right for first class servants? Why are there many servants in second class? Who do you work for? I am valet to the Earl of Manton, and this is Miss Watson. The Countess's lady's maid. Hello, Miss Watson. Roberta Mayoni. With the Countess of Rothes? Oh, we met at the Duchess of Bedford's. Yes, we certainly did. And, uh... Who are you with? Madame Aubert. Ah. Is she travelling alone? Not at all. She's in Mr. Guggenheim, the millionaire. Oh, I see. I wonder if you do. He may not, but I do right enough. Excuse me. They don't let start the voyage badly. Can't we just rub along with them? It's only a week. Mr. Barnes, as we both know, I do not share your moral elasticity. I have standards, you have none. That is where we differ. <clears throat> Would you like to take your places for dinner, everyone? Excuse me, um, we're all employed by English and Scottish families. Might we share a table? That's what you'd like? It's not catching being an American, and some of us quite like it. So do you always look after the maids and the valets? Usually. I've got a few of the second-class cabins as well. But we're first-class passengers. You're first-class servants. In every way, I'm sure. Oh, Lord Manton. Uh, do you know Mr. and Mrs. Astor? Good evening, madam. Oh, and a touch of glamour at your table. You'll have heard of Miss Dorothy Gibson. Hmm. Oh, I doubt it. Why should folks like you care about my crazy job? <laughs> <laughs> and this is my mother. Hello. Miss Gibson, the film star. And Mr. and Mrs. Widener. And their son, <laughs> Harry. Hello. How do you do? Oh, John. How lovely to see you. Well, he perhaps we should all go in. Good evening. Oh, just a moment. Mr. and Mrs. Rushed. Good evening. Do forgive us if we've kept you all waiting. Only. I had to see where they've locked up my poor darling. 
her Pekingese. The dogs have to travel in cages. Suki in a cage. I feel like William Wilberforce. Who'll free the dogs? <laughs> I'm with you, ma'am. They've locked up my dog, too. Oh. Let's say you and me stage a breakout. <laughs> <laughs> The main prize is a copy of Francis Bacon's essays. First edition? Not quite, no. Second, 1598. I'll show it to you if you like. It's rather sad that all our old books and pictures seem to be emigrating these days. In search of a better life. Harry seems to be enjoying himself. He's usually rather shy. It's never been a problem for Georgiana. Well, I suppose it must have been quite a struggle, starting a business. I beg your pardon. The captain means when you opened your dress shop, Lady Duff Gordon. What's your name? Paolo Sandrini, sir. And are you in charge of this table for the voyage? Yes, sir. Oh. I didn't know we had any Italian stewards in this dining room. Just me, sir. Thank you. You fancy a game of anything? No, thank you. I prefer to read. What have we here? Aesop's Fables? Ooh, well, I never... May I have it back? Uh, have uh, it back. Uh, uh. Here, here! Please! Please! That's to not... my dear little Mabel, in the hope that these examples will be a source of strength to her through life. From Papa, Christmas 1891. Ah. All right, that's enough now. OK, that's it. Stop it now, please. Just give it to me! Yes, give it to her, for heaven's sake. Let's give it to her. I'm sorry. But it was just meant to be a bit of fun. I can mend it for you, if you like. Is there anything you'd like to hear, miss? Do you know Autumn by Archibald Joyce? We know all the waltzes, miss. May I have the pleasure? You don't know it'll be a pleasure. Well, I'll take my chances. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Please don't flirt with me, Mr. Widener. You'll only regret it. Why? Because I'm not your type at all, and you're certainly not mine. Hmm. Who is? Oh. Writers and rebels angry at their fellow man's injustices. Oh, but can't a book collector hate injustice too? Not when he's heir to the largest fortune in Philadelphia. <laughs> It's hard to be lectured on equality by the daughter of an English earl. Ismay. Hello. Oh. I can't thank you enough for coming to our aid at such short notice. Not at all. 
I see Lady Georgiana has already met her match. I hope so, but I doubt it. <laughs> yes. It's Mr. Andrews, isn't it? You must be having a proud time of this. And this is Mr. Benjamin Guggenheim, Lord and Lady Manson. How are you? Pleasure. May I introduce you to a great friend of mine, Madame Obar. Enchanté. Mm. I'm afraid I'm very tired. If you'd excuse me. Of course. May I cut in? I don't believe it's an English custom. We're good old American boys. It's all right. I'm Jack there. How do you do? So, do you know this dance, or is it an English custom either? You'd be surprised. What is the matter? You mean they're together but not married? Isn't it rather odd? And shit like this. I suppose we're all men of the world. Lord Manton may be a man of the world, Mr. Ismay, but I'm not a woman of the world, I'm glad to say. Good night. Yes, I thought Madame Obar looked a little sheepish. <sighs> and no wonder. What shall we do about Georgiana? I do sympathize how hard it is to keep Leon in check. I'm told she was in one of those dreadful suffragette demonstrations. You must be at your wit's end. I would be. I'm sure. But we are a political family. You, I think, have always been in trade. Would you like me to turn down the bed, madam? No. No? Very good. Would you like me to turn down the bed, madam? Come in. Didn't mean to be unfriendly. You saw how she looked at us when he invited us to tea. She couldn't have been more shocked if we'd spat in her face. <clears throat> Could you help me with this? You exaggerate. I do not. And why, in the name of God, did you agree to attend an Anglican service? Of course, Lord Manton. My pleasure, Lord Manton. Well, I thought it'd be interesting. And the neck race, the clasp is a bit stiff. You have to squeeze it. Thank you. Who does she think she is? She thinks she's a countess, and she's right. <laughs> well, she also thinks she's Irish, and she is not. She grew that. up in County Wicklow. If I grew up in a kennel, would it make me a dog? The Anglo-Irish are the just so as... called Anglo-Irish are Anglo first and Irish never. They've crushed the life out of us since the dawn of time, and you expect me to sit and chat with her over a plate of sandwiches? You're not being reasonable. You've let them choke the life out of your dreams, and you had one invitation to tea in first class, and you could be a spaniel, begging for a pat from the master. 21 years I've had that book. I know. Not a scratch on it. Not a mark until tonight. Look, I am so sorry, and I have said that I will mend it. Oh. I'll be the first... Can't we complain about our table? The actress and the mother. I dread to think how they earned their crust before the girls struck it lucky. I rather like them. As for that duff Gordon woman, carrying on as if she were a queen. Not a sempstress with an eye to the main chance. They're just people, Louise. They're trying to get from Southampton to New York like we are. Is everything all right, Barnes? Oh, yes. Thank you, my lord. Shall I have a bit? In cabina. Ma tienitelo per te. Mmm. What's up? The sugar plum fairy has arrived. Why are you calling a fairy? Leave him alone. He's my brother. I'd keep that to myself if I were you. <laughs> Billy Black. Un chief stalker. Sono sempre uno. Un imbecille basta. Sopra come sono? Chief Stewart, il mio Billy Blake, ma gli altri sono tranquilli. Amici? Eh. Maybe. Jack, 
It's past your bedtime. I can't believe it. Better go. She'll get me for baby snatching. Mother, I am 17 years old. Never mind that, dear. I'm sure Miss Gibson can spare you. I can't believe you just... Mother, that's so embarrassing. You're just embarrassing. May I? Second officer Charles Lightoller at your service. Won't you be struck up? On this ship, the passengers' welfare is all we care about. Ah, very glad to hear. Besides, I'm a fan. <laughs> better and better. No, I mean it. I enjoyed you in uh, Miss Masquerader and in Hands Across the Sea. <laughs> Heavens, you really are a fan. Ah, Mr. Lightholler. I'm trying to find my way to second class. I don't suppose you know where I should be headed. I'd be a poor seaman if I didn't. When you go back, there's a shortcut. You'll get to your corridor, but if you keep going, you'll come to the staircase in first class. But uh, don't let anyone see you. Thanks. I uh, need a necklace for tonight, but there's nobody on duty. Oh, the purse is back at six, madam. Unless you'd like me to send for him. No, no, no. Six would be fine. Thank you. Here we are, my lord. All present are correct. So you are. These are all quite free. Is there some difficulty? Would you prefer that I left? So kind. She's hospitable, I must say. <laughs> Did she turn you out of your seat? I'll tell her. We knew what we were taking on when we booked our passage. Even so. No one is more morally indignant than a beauty the wrong side of 40. The Germans don't want a war. I'm not so sure. They want an empire, and they feel they're entitled to yeah, it. Do empires I... matter now? They're always more toil than profit. Oh. So will you vote for the Irish Home Rule Bill, then, when it gets to the Lords? If you see no point in empires. Ireland's rather different. Not to the Irish, is it? Don't you agree, Lady Manton? I leave these things to Lord Manton. Yes. Ireland has a special tie with England. We shouldn't break it yet. So, what are we doing tonight? Not much, I hope. Dining at Gatti's restaurant? Was that the expensive one on B-deck with all the Dago waiters? It's the one we've been invited to by Harry's charming parents. Oops. You can buy my silence with one condition. Name it. May I take your daughter for a walk on deck before we dine? Um, let me change first. Wrap up. It's colder than it was. And we should be getting along, too. I'll see you Thank both you later. Thank you so much, Lady Manton. Thank you, Lady Manton. It's, it's been delightful. Hasn't it, Muriel? Delightful. Is it, uh, can you find your way back? Well, I think so. Nobody stops you going into second class. That'll teach you. But I can't see the English wanting to drop the class system anytime soon. It's woven into their character. I never judge people by their class. Don't you? Oh, look. There's that frightful Mrs. Rushton and her horrid little dog. I rest my case. Oh, I'm adorable at this age. Don't touch him. I, I wasn't going to hurt him. Of course not. 
Alice, what has gotten into you? I, I do apologize, no, Miss. No, couldn't matter less. You have lovely children. Thank you. Well, at least she takes her job seriously. Too seriously by half. <laughs> but Philadelphia is so far away. Better a Yankee nabob than a homegrown anarchist with a handmade bomb. Is this brooch a bit showy? What about a smaller one? We ought to get going. Oh, never mind. Have to do. As soon as we're all gathered, we'll walk to the restaurant. Harry, taking me to Georgiana. She's pretty, she's well born, and there's money. Believe me, Harry could meet her worse fate. Ah, uh, here they are. Let's go. Before the Rushtons find us. That was a delicious dinner. The Americans are so generous to strangers, we English never are. Now you'll die of cold. Not if you're near me. We're going to bed in a minute. Good night, Mama. It's so clear and calm, there's scarcely a ripple. You're enjoying it more than you thought you would, admit it. I shall admit what I choose. Don't take a stand on everything. Pick your battles. If you fight for a cause, make sure it's a cause that you care about, not just a way to annoy your parents. You seem to know me very well all of a sudden. I seem to like you very well all of a sudden, that's for sure. Enjoyed yourselves. Very much, thank you. <laughs> That's my trick, and I will shoot the man who denies it. <laughs> I'll just take them to the safe. There was a terrific queue by the purses when we passed. I'll keep them under my pillow tonight. Put them in the safe tomorrow morning. I don't mind queuing. I'd rather. No! You can do it in the morning. <laughs> Made it! So that is five hearts achieved plus 50 for the insult from this naughty man here. <laughs> Whose deal? Mine. What did you see? Thank you. Iceberg, right ahead. Hunt the starboard! Hunt the starboard, sir!
What was that? Nothing, I'm sure. It's, uh... We've hit an iceberg. Well, scraped a long one. Murder called it hard to stop and reverse tensions, but it was very close. Louisa? Hmm. Why aren't you undressed? Listen. I can't hear anything. Exactly. The engines have stopped. Take care. Officer, can you tell me what on earth is going on? I'm very sorry to have to say it, my lord, but we've, uh, we've hit an iceberg. What? When? About half an hour ago. But we can't be in any real danger. Not on this ship. Get your women up on deck as quickly as you can. Make them wear something warm. But surely, I mean... It's not going to sink. I certainly hope not. Quickly now. You need to get dressed. They want us on deck. What? So I've worked Georgiana. She'll be here in a minute, but there's no time to lose. We need to hurry. You've heard them, my lord. Yes, we have. Watson, help your mistress to get ready. It's just a safety exercise, but I don't want any of you to miss it. What do you mean, a safety exercise? In the middle of the night? What's wrong? Well, uh, we've hit something, and they want us on deck. It's just a precaution. Well, if there's really nothing to worry about, I prefer to stay in the warm until we know more. What's this doing here? What do you mean? This brooch. I wasn't wearing it last night. Everyone on deck, captain's orders, with life jackets. Ah, oh, good. Everyone on deck, captain's orders, bring life jackets. Everyone on deck, captain's orders, bring life jackets. Alice, bring the baby. Sarah, find me my clothes. Come on. I'll get Lorraine. Come on. <laughs> Come with me. I know a way through second class. It'll take us up to the boat deck. That's it. Keep moving. This way, please. You give it I understand, Do you hear me? Out. I will see what I can do. What in God's name? Purse's office. They're trying to get hold of their jewels. Close it down. Now. And get them all up on deck. God, I kept the best of mine out. What a stroke of luck. As if you needed luck, you patronizing bitch. Excuse me. This is no more grace, but I am not in the mood. I... You think you're so smart, so fine, so aristocratic, don't you? You are pathetic. You stupid. You get away from us. Over here. Come and take control of your wife. Take control. How dare you, you arrogant bitch. Will you shut up? I will not shut up for a dirty philanderer like you. He is quite the big nobleman now. What about your grubby little secrets and dull it? You foolish, foolish woman. I really think I'd rather freeze to death outside than spend one more minute with these ghastly screaming women. You won't go up. Not yet. All in good time. Don't worry, there's no danger. Ma, ma, don't let them put me in the water. Of course not, you won't go near the water. I can't swim, ma, I can't swim. Nobody's going to be swimming anywhere. Should there be a boat along to take us off in the shake of a lamb's tail? They're only waiting for it to arrive. Could you say anything? Not much. They're getting the boats out. They say there's no danger. But they're lying. Stay together. This boat is gone. Go the other way. The other way, this boat is gone. It's not even half full. Stop! What can we do? We can't bring it back, my lord. No! I won't go without the suitcase. Grace, my dear, be sensible. We can never find the cage again. She may already be drowned. No! 
Quick to the madam if you're coming. I'm not! See no. that face! Sarah, you go. I'll follow when I find Alice and the baby. Take Marie. Let go, darling. Let go. Please, take her. Let go. Let go. The boat go. must go, madam. Oh, all right. Go. We'll be on the next one. Please. It's a light holler. It's a light holler. How many more can you take? This one's full. There's one about to load on the other side. Lower the boat. This boat is full. Back. Take the space in the boat, please. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. But he's only just 17. Any more for this boat? Any more for this boat? Adam, get in. Take my hand. I won't be long. Don't look down. But it's not nearly full. Women and children only. But surely it's women and children first. Not only. Waters, I'm afraid, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me, Benjamin. May I accompany her? No men, I'm afraid, sir. I only ask because of her condition. She's expected, you see. I'm very sorry, sir. Ready the boat! Back to me when we next meet. I suppose there is some fun to this. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't think of anything better to do. Here's the young lady who likes the autumn waltz. Would you care for me now? Since Nanny, why isn't she with them? Quickly. Ah. Louisa, come on, quickly. <gasps> Wait for us. Come on, Mother, quick. There, Miss. Excuse me. Can you make the place for it, please? Georgiana, just get on. Louisa, please. I will not sit in the boat with a drunken prostitute. I will change into something more gentlemanly. And then we can wait upon events. Hurry! 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 Are you all right? You must get to a boat straight away. They're full back there, or at least there's a cute little fill. Well, no, I know, but there are some down at the end that are still taking on women. I was coming to fetch my mother, but father says she's already on one of these. We're going to wave her goodbye. After that, I'll come and look for you. I just hope I don't find you. Why? Because I want you to be safe. Georgiana, if I don't make it... Don't say that! Men will get through this. In first and second, and in steerage. And they'll live. Just make sure that you're one of them, please. There'll be no room in this one, I'm afraid. But why are so few of them full? too dangerous to lower them full, there's a risk they might split. Now, once we've got the women off, the men can swim out to them. But how? From where? From the hatches. 
Even if we could get down there, the boats are rowing away. We're frightened of the suction if she goes down. Is that if or when? So what of the rest? Pitched into the icy water? I'm afraid you've miscalculated with your splits and your hatches, Mr. Lightholler. And hundreds of people will drown who need not have done. Lower away. See you soon. Take care. You're Mrs. Widener, aren't you? We haven't met. I'm Lady Rothers. My son can swim. My dear. Julio, you know I'm not a Democrat, but at times like this, you are welcome to sit. I'm trying to get my family away. We keep missing the boat, literally. Mr. Andrews? Some people ran through here on the way to the promenade deck. They said there are still some boats there. Thank you. But will you come with us? There's too much rushing about already. I prefer to wait. We'll see what happens. Come Good luck to you. Hurry! Georgiana! I hoped you'd gone. I prayed you'd gone. Yes, you've been unlucky. Why? Hurry. They've got one of the collapsibles onto a davit and they're loading it now. It may be the last boat to get away. Oh. Come on, it's through here. Left. I wish you'd let me explain. You are funny. Did you think you could keep a secret like that? Don't you know me at all? Lady Manson! No, I'm not going. Louise, That's right. You must... We can stay together. Whatever happens, we'll just stay together. Please, let me do one last thing. I can be proud. <laughs> I am not leaving you no. behind. No, mama. Mama, of course you could, please, yes, you could do anything. There's one thing you could do that would help me so very much, my dear. Live. For me, please. Live. Lady Manton, the boat must go. Please, Mama, please come with me. 